Today we got some leaked information about Zombies Chronicles, aka our beloved DLC5. We got some leaked information about Viruk Remaster as well, our beloved, you guessed it, Origins Remaster. Now really, really quickly, I wanna say this, I am really, really sick, so if my voice uh, sounds really bad, I'm really sick right now, and uh, it is uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, I was about to head off, but it seems like we got some uh, videos to make, and we got some information about Origins Remaster and Viruk, and there's a guy that actually playtested that, he actually provided a lot of proof and evidence so we know that is true and some information about whether or not we're going to see the Mauser, whether or not we're going to see the uh, MG08 or MG04, I guess it's MG08, the LMG that we have in Origins, whether or not we're going to see that, are we going to see PhD Flopper, well the, the thing is we have some good news and we have some bad news and we're gonna get right into it right now. Hey everybody what the heck is going on, my name is Usman and let's just get right into it. If you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing we do daily videos and live streams so make sure to smash that subscribe button and also join the notification squad and let's get right into it now this information is coming from a guy over on call of duty zombies subreddit he basically provided proof that he played the call of duty black ops 3 zombies chronicles early and he was part of the playtest group he actually sent all of his evidence or proof to all the mods of the cod zombie subreddit and they checked it and everything is legit and he also provided the shirt that he got and it's written playtest.activision.com on his shirt so we know that is legit and he actually played uh, Call of Duty Zombies Chronicles early and he goes on to say hi that is me I'm currently at my family house watching the boxing match uh, I'm here making a DLC 5 video so excuse my bad grammar and spelling I'm on mobile I DM the mods to verify myself I was a part of the group that played Origins and Virac only they separated us to prevent a full leak of DLC 5 I see you uh, cheeky little actor Activision <laughs> dudes out there. They separated us to prevent a full leak of DLC 5. Since DLC 5 was announced, I am now allowed to discuss it with you guys. Anyways, I'll post what I posted in the deleted thread. Virug, uh, he goes on to talk a lot of stuff about Virug, and it goes like this. The Winter Hall is gone. Replaced with the DG2. I'm not sure how some of you guys will feel about this. I personally don't care about that, but I know a lot of people will care. And he also goes on to say all wall buys are replaced with their Black Ops 3 gun equivalent. Uh, we already assumed it, so that's kind of like what it is. Wall guns are in the box. Mule kick is uh, in Virect as well, so that is pretty uh, awesome, I guess. <laughs> they, they use the 1.0 models, so no Marines. <laughs> The musical easter egg is still with the with the toilet, I guess that is a cheeky AF as well. I believe the PPSH was in the box but I never got it, ah, fair. Uh, starter pistol was the normal Black Ops 3 one, ah, gosh dang it. <laughs> uh, so the, by, by the way, that is just for Virag. They also added the death mission drop, I guess that's a plus, but now we're gonna talk about our beloved Origins remaster and he goes on to say, the first thing that he says is, is that the staffs are back, ladies and gentlemen, they are back, hot damn, can I get that? in the comments right now. PhD was not present in the map but was replaced with the Widow's Mind. So that is kind of like a bad news. But I personally on the other hand don't really care about it because uh, my my thing is that if I want to play like a bit PhD flopper I will play the original Origins and if I want to play the remaster I'll play it on Black Ops 3. We're gonna have Gobble Guns. I know some people say it's going to ruin the map. I on the other hand say hey if you think it's gonna ruin the map then don't use it. If you want to play something new and want to experience the map in a new way then use it it may very well be something that you don't like but hey let's give it a try I feel like it's going to be something new and it's going to be amazing he also goes on to say the Mauser and the special machine gun return so that is kind of like a plus that's the part that makes me super super happy they also decrease the price of the pack a punch door could be altered Matt was still buggy of course when he played that he played like a super early build or something like that so there are some things that we're going to see that he may not have experienced but hey this is something that he's actually described and he is basically telling us what he have experience and everything like that. He also goes on to say wild guns are replaced with Black Ops 3 equivalents in Origins as well. So for some people it will be a bummer, but for some people it will be awesome. The generators work slightly faster than before, I guess that's a plus. They altered the layout of the map around the jug generator. So I'm not totally sure how this will be like in the new Origins remaster, but I'm hoping that it will be uh, sick AF. 
Uh, again, not sure about the PPSH. Uh, the papoosh! Tommy Gun was present, might be cut, however. I'm not sure why does he say that, because uh, he says the Tommy Gun was present, but might be cut, however. I'm not totally sure. I hope it's there. I love the gun. The Panzer is returning as well. Of course, we have seen in the Rise and Drach, so it will be like, if you put one and one together, well. But I hope we get the normal Origins Panzer into Origins Remaster. I may have offended some people, but hey, I'm not gonna take it back. Hot damn. I, I love the, the challenge in Origins though, so I hope it's like the original Origins one, but I won't mind if we get like the uh, the Rise and Drach uh, Panzer into Origins Remaster. But anyways guys, I'm gonna be ending this video right here. I am really, really sick, so I hope I'm able to live stream tomorrow because tomorrow I really wanna get into the streaming and everything like that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe for uh, more if you are new to the channel, join the notification squad, and I'll see you guys very freaking soon.